Hello. It has been a minute on here since I've been on here. I wanted to talk to you about my oils, though. I've been making lemon oil, and this is uh, stinging nettle oil. I, oh, I love that lemon oil because I, I infuse it for about, this lemon oil has been infused a while because I've been going through some stuff with my Maya Stadia. Maya's been acting up, and then I lost my oldest child. Which was long, which was hard last month. So this all has probably been sitting about eight weeks, but it smells delicious. I'm gonna cook some salmon tonight. I'm gonna use some of that, and the stinging nettle I'm gonna harvest out later on today. And I have some rosemary, and I need to do some star anise. These oils are great for cooking in. The a lemon is great for cooking your chicken in and your fish in. If you're making like lemon cookies, I made some of those lemon cookies. I put it in there. Anything that you would normally use lemon. I actually think I've taken sprinkle a little bit of the lemon all over my salmon if I'm eating it right out of the can. Just a little bit just to, you know, sprinkle it like you do with the um, regular olive oil. And the stinging nettle, I cook my vegetables in my stinging nettle oil. I cook vegetables in it. If you want to do potatoes, you want to actually fry a little something on low heat in it. It cooks very well with that. And then I am in the process of making some um, peppermint oil, some mint oil. I harvest, I did some mint oil last night. Oh, my thing dropped down. My phone I always gonna ring when I'm on here. That's that, and I'm doing some mint oil. And I'm, I'm cooking all my oils. I love infusing these oils with, with herbs. I'm cooking in them. I have just not fell in love with cooking with oils. They're infused, they're great. I'm gonna make my salmon tonight, like I said. I'm gonna do some spinach for lunch, but I have rosemary all over there. I do rosemary oil, I do stinging nettle oil, I do star venetia oil, I do lemon oil, tangerine oil, anything. Don't throw nothing away, keep everything and infuse it with some oils and cook it back in. Cook any if you're eating oranges, you're eating tangerines, infuse it and put it back in there. It's really, really delicious. But I uh, just been on here. I went to Holly. She hadn't been on for a minute to talk about the oils that I'm cooking with, and I just say hi. I've just been, like I said, through a lot for the last month. I was in the hospital for five days after my son's death. It kind of shocked me up a bit. That was my heart, my rock, my son. I'm gonna miss him so much. He was so young. But I just wanted to holler at you this morning and touch base. I'll get back on here at another time. And holla at y'all and see how y'all doing. I'm going to cook something with this oil probably to begin and show you. I'm going to put up some uh, star of niche oil because sweet potato season is coming. And I use a lot of star of niche in my sweet potatoes. I made snickerdoodles for a friend of mine uh, this past week. And I used the star of niche oil in the snickerdoodles. And then I used the star of niche powder. Well, I, what I do is I grind the star of niche and then I put it in with some of that vanilla cinnamon Stuff that you get at Walmart in the box, I put it in with that, and it's delicious. And you keep, I keep it in a shaker. I put it on my oatmeal. I put it in my smoothies. I put it on my potatoes when I'm cooking my sweet potatoes. I put them in my cookies. Anything I'm making, I put them in my overnight oats. That star venetia is a terrific. You can put it. You can use star venetia in your if you're making like some kind of Chinese food or also something like that. It gives a really good kick. But that, but I'm gonna put up some of that oil as well. But these oils are great. I'll tell you, I would suggest anyone infuse these oils and use them in your food. Gives your food a great flavor, something different than using just regular old, old olive oil. Just take time and put them up. I usually put them up for three or four weeks and then I shake them and I smell them. And when they start to smell like I want them to smell and they get the, get all the, uh, the smell out of this herb that I'm, that I've got them soaking, infusing them in, then I harvest them out into a jar put them in the refrigerator and I take them out when I'm cooking. I cook the, the spinach. Like I say, I'm doing my rosemary oil. I'm running out of rosemary, so I'm gonna have to do this. This morning I took my rosemary oil and I made some um I made some uh wraps for breakfast to go with my spinach and eggs and I oiled it down in rosemary oil and put some garlic and some better than bagel, anything better than bagel seasoning on there. And oh that's delicious with the breakfast for your eggs instead of toast i use the wraps the wraps only got 25 calories and then the season so it's less than having bread and it's something different and you're using your rosemary oil on there to season it with and anytime you infuse 
you know, anytime you do an herb, it's good for your body. But I'm going to get off. I just wanted to come on. I haven't been here for a minute to show you my pretty oil. That lemon oil is beautiful. That stinging nail is beautiful. I'm going to put up uh, some more of the Star of a Niche. I also use these oils on my body, especially the lemon. Now, I use the lemon oil on my face somewhat because it's got collagen in it. I use it on my skin. Oh, and I was one of amazing thing, a little side story. When I was in the hospital back here a few weeks, and they were, the nurses, they were like, you have such beautiful skin. And I said, it's because I make my oils to put on it. I do my own oils. I use lemon oil. I, and, oh, I love Star Venetia on my face. It's supposed to be great for wrinkles. They say a lot of Chinese people use the Star Venetia. Uh, but China, people in China cook with a lot of Star Venetia. I get my Star Venetia from China. As a matter of fact, I, well, I think it's China. Yeah, I'm, I get it from Amazon, but they say they don't buy it if it's coming from Japan, by the China blend. Depends on who you buy. Read, read the thing where it's coming from. But I use it on my skin. I use it on my hair. I get out of the shower all down, and my skin always stays so all and supple because I use it on my skin. But this is my little tidbit for today. If you don't want to eat it, you can use it on your hair. You can use it on your skin. It's great oil. And if you don't want the oily base, you can put uh, fruit drops of it in your favorite lotion. And then mix it with your lotion and put it on your skin. And the lemon smells delicious. Um, you know, I put it on my face and rub it in good. Like I said, if you don't want it, it's oil. As you, some people don't like oils. Then just take and put it in your lotion. If you're using some kind of lotion, take your few drops, put it in your hand, put the lotion in your rubber lamp, and then the lotion takes over, but you still got the benefit of the oil, of the lemon oil, the star venetia oil. I put star venetia on the lemon oil, rosemary oil. I put rosemary on my hair because I make a rosemary hairdressing, of course. So all these things are wonderful, and I just want to show you because I'm going to do some cooking. I'll probably do a recipe this weekend if I have time. But anyway, this is Little Luby, and I'm going to say, see ya. Hi, these are my sweet potatoes that I cooked in the air fryer. I cooked them today with my orange oil and some of my star anise mixed with my cinnamon sugar with vanilla. These are going to be delicious. I'm making my orange oil. I'm making a new batch of orange oil this week. Ugh. I'm making a new batch of orange oil this week, and these make some great potatoes. I'm going to try to make some sweet potato, um, a sweet potato cake this year. I think I'm going to use my star anise, but I grind up the star anise and mix it with the cinnamon sugar with the butter with the vanilla. It's um, great. You can get it at Walmart. It is great. And then I do my own orange oil, of course. I'm right now going to put up some tangerine oil, which is delicious and sweet potato, because sweet potato seasons are coming. Sweet potato seasons is coming. And then that homemade orange oil and, and uh, tangerine oil is delicious on sweet potatoes. But these are what I made for lunch today. I'm going to enjoy them now. I'm going to show you. I made some mint oil. I will show it to you in my next little pick. Look at that plant. It has grown and grown and grown. It is doing marvelous. It is doing marvelous. I'm a baby to that. I am so proud of that plant. It is beautiful. It is growing so much. I have been so busy looking. And look at my peace lily. I got my peace lily limb. Mm, my son passed, and that's David. I'm always watching David on Sunday. And then I decided I'd do a little something on the wall over there. I don't know. I just be liking to do different things. My decor is so bland. I'm working on trying to improve it, though. But then I just, uh, I've been very proud. Of course, I've been doing a lot of stuff on the porch with my plants on the porch. But this one I am extremely proud of. It looks great. Okay, here is my tangerine and mint oil. That tangerine oil is, oh God, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous orange. That is going to be some delicious tangerine oil when it gets done. Um, I use tangerine oil on my sweet potatoes in the fall of the year. If I'm making any kind of toast or anything, I just go ahead on and put it in it in the fry pan and then put some kind of, um, I guess, jelly, marmalade or something on it. It's delicious. 
And also, I, all these oils, of course, I use on my skin. I mean, I use them when I get out of the shower. I use them to cook with what I eat, I wear. But this peppermint, spearmint, well, it's actually mint oil. It is gorgeous. It is a deep mint, and the smell is very, 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 very good. It smells a lot like mint. And this tangerine oil, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. What I did with the tangerine oil, at first I did some orange oil. And then I let the orange oil set up for about three or four weeks. And then I took and had some tangerines. So I took the tangerines and grind them up. And then I drained off the orange oil, harvested up the orange oil. And then I put the tangerines in the orange oil yesterday to make them. And look how orange they came out. I'm going to let this set up for probably about four weeks until the smell gets really really great and then I'll harvest it up because um, that'll be sometime in September that I'll be taking it out in October coming in and the harvest and fall will be coming in and I'll be using it in my potatoes and pumpkins and things like that if I want to make some pumpkin bread or pumpkin cookies or even just pumpkin I'll use it in that and sweet potato and squash and stuff like that in the uh, fall squash but these are gorgeous they just turned out really well and I've been doing a lot of that lately just kind of to I guess it's kind of like therapy type to do this I love doing these oils I love having them in the house I use them on my hair also I do I use them on my hair because I hate cutting my hair off but I'm letting it grow back some but I use it on the hair I mean I will turn it into a solid if I'm going to use it on my skin I will make it into a solid and I'll use some of my wax beads and make it into a solid. Then I'll use it when I get out the shower to rub down in. It's kind of like that. Especially as the weather's getting cooler and we tend to have a little, our skin tends to be a little bit more chapped or ashy or whatever you want to call it. It's great to have the oils to put on there. So I do it in a solid base also. But this oil is going to taste great. That's what I did yesterday with the tangerine oils. And I did that. And I'm just trying to do. <laughs> I may not say this correctly. Is it feng shui? I'm trying to do some feng shui in my bedroom. I'm wanting to add plants, but I'm looking at a lot of the videos on YouTube to find out exactly how I do feng shui. And I did not know that you need to close your bathroom door at all times. If it's, if it's, it's like if you've got a, a master suite again, you know, bathroom, a, a big a bedroom with your master suite in bathroom and on suite things what they come I do in my leaves my where I sleep leads right into my bathroom into my toilet and she said close the door because the toilet has negative energy in it I'm thinking okay I can see that I can see that negative energy but any <laughs> ready I just wanted to show you my arms today. I did do a few yesterday. I'm gonna be doing some more so weather gets cooler. I'm feeling a lot better I'm coming up. I'm doing some IVIG treatments, so I'm feeling a lot better. I'm getting a lot stronger, and I want to get back to doing my oils. And so I'll probably be listing more, showing you what's going on with the oils, and maybe some recipes with the oils, something I cook with the oils to show you that and everything. But until then, I will see you later. Like and subscribe. Leave it with Luby.